Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Spiritual Teacher here. Well, what do you think this is? A bunch of capsules and I get the exposure right here. They're kind of light brown. I'll take one of these and open it up. I'm sure this will be interesting. <laughs> I haven't really opened one of these up and tasted it before, but here it is. And I have to say, almost nutty, asparagusy kind of flavor. I'm amazed that uh, it's really very pleasant. It's kind of mild, um, very, very soothing, actually, very has an aroma of something similar to like slippery elm, uh, very, mm, very pleasant, very good. And well, this is uh, Butcher's Broom, and it was called Butcher's Broom because it was uh, cut down and the branches were tied together and they used that to <laughs> add on their butcher's blocks <laughs> to get rid of the, all the extra meat and different things on their butcher's block. And that was used for years and years. Oh, butcher's broom has been used for hundreds upon hundreds of years, and it's great for inflammation and chronic venous insufficiency. Uh, that's where you have, you know, blood not moving, hemorrhoids, leg swelling, atherosclerosis. It boosts up our circulation, helps with Raynaud's disease, varicose veins, and uh, orthostatic uh, uh, hypotension. That's when you stand up and you get really dizzy and <laughs> your blood pressure goes down. All these different things. It's called, in Latin, Rescus Asculus. Asculus. I hope I'm saying that right. But uh, common names are pedigree, sweet broom, knee holly, Jews myrtle, and box holly. All kinds of common names. Yeah, actually, you can find for just about every herb about a hundred different common names. Every different area calls it something else. So it's fine. It's very interesting. So you really have to go by the Latin name. But butcher's broom is probably the most common of, of, of all the different names, and it's been used around the world as butcher's broom. And it's been also been used as a veggie in Europe. And they would cut it and eat it. And uh, it kind of tastes something similar to asparagus, tell you the truth. It's very good. And so it has similar leaves to some of the holly kind of plants, but not exactly. They're without the little stickers on it. And it has red berries. And it's part of the lily family, actually. Very interesting. And it grows in Europe and Africa in some parts of the Middle East. And uh, it's a wonderful plant. It's made up of, uh, like I said, they were used to use it for cleaning butcher blocks with it. It helps with vessel integrity or quality. And butcher broom contains a lot of flavonoids, antioxidants that strengthen the uh, uh, capillary vessels and the bigger vessels' uh, quality and does a great job of actually putting out an alpha androgenic receptor agent that actually makes the uh, veins constrict. So if you have some kind of venous problem, it helps it to helps in a great way for that. So really good. It also helps with leg cramps and swelling. And a 2017 study showed that in an international uh, journal of uh, Anziology showed that uh, they did a lot of studies with people with chronic venous disorders and they found that re reduced leg swelling and cramps and heaviness and feelings of swelling and symptoms of all kinds a lot more than what the placebo did and it, it did a great job in fact. It's also a powerful anti-inflammatory and uh, helps with various con compounds to help with all kinds of things including carpal tunnel. So there's not a lot that helps with carpal tunnel. I have not found a lot really, but uh, butcher's block, um, excuse me, butcher's bloom, <laughs> broom helps with lots of different carpal tun tunnel syndrome uh, ailments and symptoms. So it does a great job with that also. Also, it helps with uh, the legs, if you just have a lot of edema going on and you have a lot of, you know, oozing of the lymph going on there, it helps to reduce capillary 
fragilely, I mean, this ability to be fragile, and it prevents the pooling of the blood in the legs and promotes circulation and gets that edema moving out of that area. And uh, it's a lot of times with, you know, we have pooling of blood, we have pooling of uh, edema. A lot of times it has to do with the fact that those little valves are not working correctly. And when we can get the vessels to constrict a little bit and get those valves to work a little better, we and get rid of all that uh, pooling of blood. <clears throat> it boosts up circulation, has a lot of saponins in it, which are like esculin would help to, uh, and saponins which actually help the uh, vessels have better integrity and helps with circulatory inf inf insufficiency. So really another thing that was really great. It has impressive results uh, a lot of studies showing it putting it together butcher's broom with uh, chestnut, uh, horse chestnut it does a great job for like, vascular problems and it was tested over and over again in double mind studies showing it, it worked great. Uh, research shows it also uh, was very good for chronic uh, vessel insufficiency so with minimal or any side effects whatsoever. And so, really amazing. Also, in studies, it was shown to be very safe, safe and effective. And uh, there was a study with a lot of females and males, and a, a uh, placebo double-blind study, and uh, giving two capsules three times a day, of uh, one sixteen point five milligrams of the butcher broom along with some uh, ascorbic acid or vitamin C, they found it was very safe and effective. Another study in 2002 in Germany, uh, in another journal, found it was very uh, safe and effective for uh, all, uh, insufficiency of the blood vessels and allowing the vessels to work correctly and uh, help with heaviness and the symptoms of chronic insufficiency of the blood vessels. So really good. Commission E is really picky about their stuff, so in Germany. So it, they really work well. Another study with 166 uh, female patients uh, found that it worked really well. In fact, it was amazing and uh, helped with uh, lots of people with heaviness in their legs and their limbs, not only in their legs, but also in their arms also for over a 12-week period. So really great. Another uh, bunch of research done at Washington American University showed that uh, aids in the release of nor noradrenaline, which helps to constrict blood vessels and uh, did a really good job of toning up vessels in general. Another study in Mexico in 2017, uh, uh, excuse me, 2007, showed that it really did a, a great job over eight weeks uh, giving helping with edema and cramps and the tingling feeling of all those symptoms of, you know, heavy legs and uh, just not moving the blood. So it does a great job. In fact, some of the people didn't have any symptoms whatsoever after they took the uh, butcher broom. So amazing, really good. Uh, so most of the patients were given 150 milligram capsules daily. Also, orthostatic hypotension. That means when you lay down and you get up and you feel really, you know, lightheaded and your blood pressure goes like, drops like a rock. <laughs> that can happen, I tell you. Even that happens to some people normally once in a great while. But if that happens to you all the time, that means there's something else going on. Usually there's medications involved or the diet is not good. I recommend you go to my website, paulhader.com, www.paulhader.com and go on my diet, which is up in the right-hand corner next to testimonials, and you'll see that. And go on my diet, and we can make this go away. You know, what we're doing here with the uh, butcher's broom is taking care of the symptoms. This is not treating the cause. we got to get at the cause, and it's usually, you know, let's get you... Uh, let's get rid of all these things you're having to take and uh, let's get you back to basics and normal and a great diet and you'll be extremely healthy like me. Now, I walk eight miles a day, do 100 pull-ups, 100 crunches, 100 push-ups and you know, work out with weights every day and I feel super. There's no doubt about it. And I don't have any aches or pains at 66. I feel like 20, really. So if you want to be there, go, go on my diet. 
Also, <clears throat> you know, another study in 2000 showed that uh, uh, orthostatic uh, hypotension was really helped with butcher broom. So if you had something like that, you might want to actually take and use some uh, butcher's broom if you have that. That's taking care of the symptoms, remember. Also, butcher's broom is, can be a good laxative if you eat, take too much of it. <laughs> in normal doses, it's good, but uh, it can be a laxative in, in higher doses. It's a great uh, for diabetes also, and, and it actually lowered A1C tests by 15% and lowered blood sugar by 10% in studies. So pretty amazing too. It's a great diuretic and helps to get rid of, you know, all the fluids in your body and help to pr uh, promote urine flow and can help with uh, ur urinary tract infections if you get more flow. And of course, you get rid of the bacteria, that type of thing. Also helps with hemorrhoids and it was a German Commission E study again in 1999 showing that it was safe and effective for hemorrhoids in uh, taking about 150 milligrams a day and uh, up, to, up, to, up to 300 milligrams a day. So that's another thing. You can take something as a, you know, internal agent to help with the uh, actual hemorrhoids themselves. But hemorrhoids are not going to go away by themselves, you know. I mean, this is taking care of the symptoms. If you have hemorrhoids, uh, change your diet, first of all. That's, you're straining too much and you need to have a lot of fiber. And go on my diet and we'll take care of that. <laughs> Absolutely, positively. Also, uh, it's been used in a lot of cultures. They ate the uh, actual plant and would it soaked the roots in water and sometimes with wine and drank it drank the liquid also that they simmered it in and it helped with stomach pains really good really great the average dosage for most people is anywhere from a 150 to 900 milligrams daily and to cut that into about three doses uh, daily so if you're taking 900 milligrams take 300 three times a day uh, and for no more than seven to 10 days. And that's really important, no more than seven to 10 days. And all supplements and herbs should be used for no more than seven to 10 days. You finding this uh, agent, Butcher's uh, Broom, can be found just about every health food store. It's been around for years and years and years and used successfully for years. And also you can find it on Amazon and eBay and lots of places online and uh, does a great job. Side effects, it should not be used for more than seven, seven to 10 days. It should not be used by those who are pregnant, nursing, or young children. It can lower your blood pressure, so if you're taking medication for that type of thing, uh, be sure to you know, you know, watch what's going on. If your blood pressure goes too low, don't take it. And in large doses, it will upset your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think a lot of common sense needs to be used when we're using anything. And uh, I think we need to not use massive doses. I think a lot of people, we think, you know, a little is good, a lot's better. No. <laughs> That's not true. A lot of times a little is all you need. And yeah, the best thing to do is just change your diet so that you end up being, feeling great without having to take anything. You know. I have a lot of people get back to me, you know, it's just like a lot of studies that say this and another study says that. Well, there is a lot of false information, especially on the internet. I find about 75 to 90 percent of it is false. Even uh, Lancet uh, Journal, Medical Journal, the editor-in-chief said about 50 percent or more of all research is false information. And the same with the British Journal of uh, Medicine. Uh, the editor-in-chief said the same thing. So there is a lot of false information out there and you really need to listen with your heart and your gut and know what's exactly right. So, you know, I, if you want to listen to some of that stuff, you know when things really resonate with you well. If you see something and it doesn't seem right, I know when it doesn't seem right and I allow myself to stay with what I know is true deep down inside. So allow yourself to know that there's a lot of disinformation out there. And uh, I think that's sometimes uh, 
Not really good. I mean, I don't know why people do this. And a lot of people even sell a lot of books because of that. And I think it's really uh, kind of crazy. But there are a lot of us who are trying to help, who are not even charging money to help people and trying to make a difference in people's lives. If you want to get a hold of me, my phone number is 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. You can text me. You can uh, email me. You can uh, WhatsApp me with that phone number. Uh, my email address is drpaulhader at gmail.com. That's D-R-P-A-U-L-H-A-I-D-E-R at gmail.com. And I'll be glad to help you in any way, shape, or form. All my consults are of no charge. Uh, if you would care to give a donation, that's greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you go to my website, paulhater.com, you can make a donation there. If you would watch the little videos and uh, the little ads there that are before the actual video that comes on of me talking, that would please do that because that brings a couple cents towards my wife and I. And we appreciate it if, uh, if you spread the word. We're trying to get about 100,000 subscribers this year and trying to reach as many people as possible to make a difference in their lives. And like I said, if you want to get a hold of me, feel free. Probably the easiest way is uh, to email me. And I get sometimes up to 400 emails a day. A lot of stuff to go through. And I try to get to you every single day right away. If you phone me, call me before 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I go to bed with before the chicken. So <laughs> and I get up about 4 o'clock. So uh, I like my morning time. I do a lot of meditation in the morning and the evening. So feel free to contact me. And uh, remember, the most important thing of all is I love you. <laughs>